Good morning, guys. Welcome to December the 2nd. Is it the 2nd? Yeah. Right, December the 2nd. Sophie's already got her advent calendar here. Daisy's a little wild. Daisy's wild. Daisy, stop jumping on the couch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Get out. Come here. Who misses this? Who misses opening advent calendars every day? Oh, it's a ball. It's a puzzle ball? Yeah, it's the one that it's impossible to put back together. Oh, well, don't take this one apart. You can trade it to somebody. And guess what day number nine is? A puzzle ball, too? The exact same thing. And same one? Same colors? Yeah. So day two is turning out to be a, a dud of a day already. Eight is monkey noodles. Okay, stop peeking, Sophie. I don't know what that one is. Stop peeking. Well, I have to. Oh my gosh. The daisy dog is a brat. <laughs> Waiting for Gabby to get ready to go down and take care of horses. It's dark and raining and dreary outside. Um, but I wanted to show you guys what Sophie was doing last night. In December, we do a lot more playing, a lot more fun stuff, a lot more relaxing. There's actual time to relax because we're not doing horses like we do in the summer and the girls have less school and just more relaxing time. But anyway, Sophie is back to building a Schleich barn. So she's been doing this. She did this last night before bed. She's getting ready. If, I encourage all of you guys who have Schleich horses and a box a Christmas box to go out there and make yourself a barn it is so much fun. We are headed to the store this morning, or we're headed to the store sometime today, to buy supplies so that she can finish this barn and make it gorgeous. So this is going to be the front, and she'll have a door there. She drew lines for the stalls. She's making the stalls. Super cute. And are these the walls for the stalls? No, I'm using popsicle sticks. Oh, popsicle sticks. Wow, it's going to be gorgeous. This is just there so that it's a wall for the outside. Yeah, I love it. Uh -huh. Are you going to put another door there? You should put like a, you know what kind of door you should put there? A sliding door. Have you seen them make those? Yeah. You want to make that? No, it's too much work. I'll do it. I'll help you. It's fun. Yeah. And I'd have to chop all that off because that would come with it. Yeah, that's true. So I had to tape that on. Oh, why'd you have to tape it on? Was there a hole there? No, because it comes down here and I don't like that look. Mm. Yeah, well you could take it out. You could have just taken it out. Anyways, go out there today and build yourself a Schleich barn. I know a lot of people don't get toys for Christmas anymore or don't get exactly what they want for Christmas. I know a lot of people struggle at Christmas. Fine. Christmas presents can be hard for some families and I just wanted you guys to know that even when you're struggling there are ways to make yourself feel happy. Happiness is a choice which I actually don't believe that. I do believe that happiness is a choice but I believe that life can be so hard sometimes that it's hard to be make yourself happy but if you have the desire to go out there and try and make yourself happy build yourself a Schleich barn. Well, it's gonna be an all miniature barn. I like it. I like a mini barn and then you can make the the, I'll help you. Do you want me to help you with it? No, I have my own style. She has her own style. Maybe I'll make my own barn. Maybe Gabby will make a barn. Have fun trying to find a box. I'll find a box. Go out there and find yourselves a box and build a barn. That will bring happiness. It will always bring happiness. And in fact, if you're a parent and you're really struggling this year for your child for Christmas ideas and your child has Schleich and likes Schleich, build them a barn. Lots of people are so creative out there. You could build them the most incredible Schleich barn. In the past, like you can look up online how to do it, but in the past we printed off uh, papers <clears throat> that have like flooring and you can lay it down on the ground. Actually, Sophie, do you want some of that? Of what? Floor, like wooden floor paper to put on the bottom? No. 
yeah there are so many options you guys but i just wanted to put it out there that i know christmas is really hard for people and sometimes people get really bored on christmas holidays because they don't have as much to do there are so many things you can go out there and do be creative and a cardboard box and some popsicle sticks is pretty much all you need to build yourself a schleich barn you don't even need that you can just build yourself a schleich barn all on its own with stuff that you have at home. So go out there and do that and give yourself some fun today. All right, you guys, we're in a conundrum. Oh, Penny, bucked. Penny has bucked me a few times. She's bucked with me, not you. She bucked with me when I took her on the trail ride. Okay, you guys, we're having a bad discussion. The discussion is, Sophie was really nervous. I cut it out of the vlog. I'm learning not to show you guys everything because people be bashing her for being upset or nervous or scared. So I cut it out, but Echo was doing little baby bunny bucks and he does that with every rider. And that's why Sophie didn't want to ride him because she knows that. But if he's just doing little teeny tiny ones and it's just because he's exactly like Storm. Like she has to get after him and make him move. He doesn't want to, so he does these little baby bucks. Your horse was smiling when I gave her a piece of candy. candy. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> she likes it. She also has shavings between her face. So uh, Brandon told me, like, Sophie just doesn't know that she can fit a sit a buck. Fit a buck. Sophie just doesn't know that she can sit a buck. I told her I've had horses buck on me all the time. Okay, not all the time, but I've had it like at least five times. And I know at what it feels like. Twice. No, at least five times I've sat like a weird buck feeling. Like I, before I've said to Fiona, like, what the heck was that? I have a big enough butt that they just don't get me off usually. All right, bring the horses in. Because it, or bring the dogs in because it's wet. Yes, breakfast is coming. Come on in. Yeah, she's like, get me more candy cane. All right. She's such a good girl. Oh, Penny. I had to clean this stall today. She's rather aggressive sometimes with her water, but Penny's a good horse because she drinks a lot. I really need to put a new boot on her. I'm gonna do it right now. All right. It is rainy and muddy outside, so we'll allow our horses to stay in. And for anybody who thinks that they'd rather be outside in the rain, we'd think they would because they're horses, but they don't. They want to be in out of the rain, enjoying the weather <laughs> from the inside. Otherwise, they're out there in that. We're going to have to fix this. Sam's going to have to fix this. Don't you dare. Is, is your mama coming? Oh, she probably are. <laughs> there she is. Do hay. Get hay ready for today and let's show them what we do. So I told Sophie how to figure it out. Wait, that's so is this? Are yeah, you know? I think that's exactly the right amount. Alright, and then split it into half. Right. So we I don't think that's enough. So basically, what we do is I divide their daily allotment of food into two piles, and I've taught Sophie how to do it so that she's able, and I taught Sam how to do it because they both Sam? overfeed. Yeah, so that's their hay for today, for the whole day. I and mean, yeah, a little bit more. Like one second? Yeah. Thanks. All right, so that is their hay for today. We divided it into two because we come back down at lunchtime and we give them hay at lunch. And now Sophie will deliver that. Inside or outside? Inside, because it's raining and gross. I don't want to walk in the mud. Yeah, nobody wants to walk in that mud. Another reason I prefer to do it this way is because it helps the horses not get injured. As you know, you know what horses be like. All right, we are ready. Release the beasts. I want to release Penny. Can I release Penny? Sure, you can release my girl. My loving, beautiful girl. She's like, I do not like this ugly boot. <laughs> So these are the saddle pads that I'm going to be taking to the barn. 
I'm taking a half bed just in case I need it for something and because I want to bring it. Next I'm bringing this peacock color saddle pad and it's really pretty. I don't know if I'm going to use it though. Next I'm bringing this light blue saddle pad. Then I'm bringing this white saddle pad with diamonds on it. Then I'm bringing this lavender saddle pad. And the last saddle pad I'm bringing is this gray one. It is like a spring day outside you guys. Literally like a spring day. It's December the 2nd and it's like a spring day. It's annoying. It's annoying because whenever it's spring like this for a really long time, like nice weather in Canada in December, it means that winter won't last until, it means that winter won't end until June. Yeah, that's what happens. Like, I want winter at normal winter times. I went to put on my sweater. It looked different and felt different and it was your sweater. I have my then, sweater on. And then I got mine. Oh, well that's good. Glad Gabby is not wearing my sweater. <laughs> Look at Sophie. This is Sophie. Still moving into the new barn. Typically we don't ride on Thursdays, but we just finished school and the boys are new at that barn and we just want to like go and make sure that they're settled. Like, do you guys do that? Do you always go and check up on them and make sure they're okay? I feel like the most likely time for our horses to get hurt is the day like that we move them to someplace new because they'd be all crazy and acting wild and fighting other horses through the fence and establishing who's the boss. So we're gonna go check on them, see them, ride them. So if he's really anxious to jump Finn over all the jumps before her lesson because the girls are excited to ride their own horses in lessons with their friends. But I gotta make sure my pony's good all over all the fillers. Yeah. She wants to make sure her horse is not nervous over the fillers, you guys. Woo. It is mild out. I'm just gonna leave our treats here. This is, these are our treats. Oh gosh. These are the treats that I bought for Storm, but now we're gonna bring them here. My ankle hurts. Your ankle hurts? All right, are we ready? Yeah. So Sophie got her halter. Is that the halter you're gonna be using? Do you wanna wash the halters? Every year we do like a big wash of stuff. You guys saw we already washed our brushes with the brush blaster. That stuff is really cool. We need to see if Gabby's halter's okay. Or if she knows eating it. But I also like to wash like our fabric halters, our Lemieux halters, and some saddle pads I like to wash. The only bad thing about this barn is that it's so far away. There's no bathroom. Yeah, our horses are not like in the big hub of horses where they were before, but I really like the field that they're in because it's quiet. It's sheltered from the wind. And we get to see blocked the by the day. house. Yeah, and not as much mud. They have an automatic waterer, and they're kind of like it's relaxing. I think a relaxed horse Hi, is a happy horse. Hi! Hi <laughs> oh, they're both looking. Hi, Hi, boys! Look, they're not even eating. They're chilling with their friends. Aw. Gino's coming. I missed you. Or maybe not. <laughs> Come on, Chino. Come on, Finn. It's time. All cause I want you. No one else makes me feel this way. Don't know what you do. So the last time we were at this barn, Chino was with a bunch of mares and he loved himself some mares. And he was the boss. There we go. Good boy. to go home. Oh, he's snorting. Chino snorting. Yeah. Don't be scared. I think I showed you guys before that we got these buckets. Brandon's gonna um, drill some holes in them. We didn't do that. Oh yeah, see? That's not good. How we get that? Well, you know what? That'll make their grain not so so dry. These are for sure guineas. I, I, we have an opportunity to get ourselves some guineas. What do you guys think? They're adorable. I accidentally let some chickens into the barn. Goodbye, chickens. <laughs> They're adorable. Their chickens are friendly. So I left a bunch of sour keys here. I'll show you guys in the office because it doesn't freeze in here. So these are them. And I see Gabby already eating some. 
I have more, I can fill that up. So, I have big cloths here to wash their feet. You got muddy, Finn. Give me it. All right, they're in the locker. Hi, Gino, I feel like Gino's happier. Wow. So right in there I have some towels that I brought that we can use some to wash our horse's feet. This one's gonna go in my grooming box so I don't have to come back here. So I'm gonna just leave this right here. Gabby's gonna do a, a locker tour on their channel. You might be sorely disappointed if you think that Gabby likes stuff and likes to make her locker fancy. She doesn't, she just likes the least amount of things. Same with her room. She just, she doesn't, she doesn't like a lot of stuff. Hi. Oh, he looks skinny. Does he look skinny? No. Hard to tell. You don't lose weight, Chino Bambino. Well, every horse I ride cracks their neck looking at me. They crack their neck looking at you. They all lick the walls, the, the metal. I do not know why they do that. We put salt in their feed. Um, Gabby, Caratex. Well, I don't know where that is. Finn got a bite. Huh? So where? What does that tell you? He's being annoying to Chino. It's on his neck though. He probably got it over the fence. Probably. Probably got it over the fence. Chino is not a. Well, a bite, they both look thinner in this stall. I think it's just there's no light, so they all look thinner. Finn. Look at those dapples. Finn needs to be thinner. Yeah, he gets dapples in winter, not in summer. Yeah, some do. It just started pouring rain, so yeah. Go oh, I see. I miss all the chairs being over here because I swear it's cozy warmer. I, I, I swear it's warmer. Brandon left our little setup. This is what it looked like, you guys. Our setup for parents to watch the lessons. Finn just freaked out. I'm holding him and Chino came in and he got scared. It's Chino, dude, it's Chino. Chill out. He literally was like getting ready to buck. And it's noisy. I've never heard rain this loud before in my life. It's okay, it's okay. Holy crap. You're fine. You're fine. Holy crap. You'll be used to that by the end of the ride. There's this little cut. You're okay. He's standing close to me. <laughs> Holy moly! I know, so loud. And Tino is ready. <laughs> what a nice horse he is. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't like it. What? Is the roof gonna hold? <laughs> is the roof gonna hold? It's deafening in there, you guys. It's deafening. Wait. I'm trying to like pretend to be brave for Sophie. It's terrifying. It's really nice to have a heated viewing room again, but not an indoor bathroom. No indoor bath. Yeah, and sitting on a cold seat in the winter. I'll be all right. Gabby's actually gonna post a video on her channel. I'm gonna shoot it tomorrow. We were gonna do it today. We'll do it tomorrow before we get the horses, okay? Coming through. Coming through. Finn, you were a good boy. Yes, you were. She know you were a good boy too. Yeah. Feels good to have them here. Comment below, do you guys think that they seem more settled now? Do you think this is a good choice? I know I told you to do that yesterday. I haven't checked the comments yet, but I'm going to go check them. Do you think that they're more settled? Do you think like they're doing better? I don't know, too early to tell maybe. I feel like in my heart, I feel like this is the best place to manage Chino's feet, which is what I'm going to be working on. I lost our Caratex, which is annoying. <laughs> I personally think that our do every dog deserves a little Santa reindeer. Is it a reindeer? It's adorable. Sophie wants this for Christmas, a mini hat for her puppy and then a mama hat for her. That'd be really cute. That was awful. 
we just been ostracized by pet people. We are so not used to like people who, we're just so not used to people. So I ordered 500 crickets. Usually we get them at another, at another store and it's $34 for five crickets, $34. So we went to this other one because we wanted to go to a store, another store that's close to this store. So I'm like, I'll oh, just give them a, a pet value. So we go there and it costs $84. 84, 34 to $84. Why did you get them? Because we needed them, $50 more. What? Because we waited till tomorrow went to the other store and got them cheaper. Like that's that's like triple well it's not triple the price, that's like double the price. Like that was insane. Well that that was insane. Like I couldn't believe that. So then I'm like whatever, we need them, we're just gonna get them, I'll never buy them here again. Can't even imagine. Five hundred crickets and it's almost a hundred dollars. Like that's insane. But anyways, so then the lady says to us, What are you feeding with these crickets? And I said, Oh, a bearded dragon and she said, Just one? And I'm like, well, she, yeah, like she's, she's, she's good. Like she's not overweight. Like we are really careful about her weight and she's doing really well. Like she's like, how much do you feed her? And I'm like, uh, then I started to get flustered and I'm like, well, we like, she's small. She's a small bearded dragon. My sister buys a thousand crickets and they last her for two weeks or something. And their, their bearded dragon is a boy and it's massive. We're like very careful with our bearded dragon and she's not overweight. She's not overweight at all. Like she's a perfect size. And then I'm like, well, I don't know. I think we're doing it right because she seems fine. Like what difference does it, is it to anybody? <laughs> like if I'm buying my own food, if I buy 500 crickets, then it's my own business. I feel like, I don't know. They were, they were really rude, really judgmental, really, ostracizing and it's sad because it's sad it's just sad that people feel like they have a right to decide if you're doing it right or if you're doing it wrong and they've never even seen your animal or your setup or what you do our bearded dragon is doing fantastic the way that we feed her and she's not even full grown yet and i feel like okay let's go all right let's go I came to get duct tape and I wanted pink. There's no pink. Red. There's red. But look at how small the roll is. Like that would just do one duct tape boot. So, looks like Penny is getting silver. I found my favorite Christmas decoration. Isn't it adorable? I love it. I love that one too. That's adorable. Don't you know that you're beautiful?